Our next Entrepreneurship Award winner is Ryan Pavlik, founder of Scratch Ice Cream. He took interest in ice cream production while working for his aunt and uncle's frozen yogurt business, Yo Mama, and launched Scratch Ice Cream in 2016. Starting out with a few pints sold at frozen yogurt shops, the company's retail footprint now spans 50 locations, and the company landed a contract this year to sell its products at Sendix stores. Please welcome Ryan Pavlik. Hello. Um, thank you to the Biz Times. Thank you to uh, all the other panelists. Uh, thanks to my brother, who is my partner in Scratch. Um, I will make this brief, but <clears throat> the panel was kind of talking about why they got started. And, and, and I reflected, you know, why I started my stories more of, a, you know, started with a lack of opportunity and I think it grows by taking advantage of opportunity. Um, in 2013, I was arrested and convicted of felony drug possession. So I thankfully got sober in 2013, but I didn't have many options. You know, so I started painting houses, ended up getting laid off, um, needed a job. So I hit up my aunt and uncle, started working for them, and. I really, I didn't have a plan, you know, so I saw an opportunity with my aunt and uncle and I just learned everything I could. You know, he had interest in starting other businesses. It was related to yogurt, which, you know, I don't love frozen yogurt, but I do love ice cream. So I started reading books on ice cream. I started reading books on, on humans, on entrepreneurship, and I started working in the kitchen. You know, and finally I found a recipe after months and months and he provided me with the capital, you know, and from there, um, I, you know, I'm not going to go into all of it, but, you know, from there, it was just getting the product into people's mouths, you know, so we went everywhere, you know, we bought a bike, we went to farmer's markets, we went to, you know, knocking on doors, grocery stores, restaurants, you know, and then it just started adding up, you know, one account after one account after one account. And then we would sit in the grocery stores, we would sample, you know, my, my, my idea and, and the way our, our business runs it is we are our product. You know, we, we have a good product, we stand by it. I'm not a salesman, my brother's, I would say a little bit better of a salesman, but we're not going in and having this, this great pitch. You know, my pitch is here, here's the ice cream. We use Wisconsin dairy, we make it from scratch. We make all our own inclusions, we make our, our caramel, we make our brownies, we make our cookie dough, we make everything from scratch. You know, and thankfully, the product and those few words is usually enough to, to get it. But it, it's, not, it's not that easy. You know, somebody was talking about, you know, emailing somebody enough. You know, you don't know how many people I've emailed, you know, month after month after month. You know, no response, but, but years later, all of a sudden, they come back, oh, oh, hey, we, we heard about you from this, we heard about you from that. Um, you know, and, and then came the pandemic, you know, which, which changed everything. You know, I remember the day we were forced to, to close down our shop, you know, I remember I, I sat in my car and, I, like, I cried. You know, I, I worked, you know, four or five years doing everything I could, still really didn't make any money. And I was like, man, everything is going to shut down. We're, the business is going to shut down, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, but the next day, we launched our care packs. You know, we decided to bring our product to people's doors. And it was the day after everything closed down. And we just got so much support from, from social media. So many people shared it. So many people tried it. We ended up selling thousands of those care packs. And it really changed the game for us. You know, so many people that never heard of us got to try our product. Um, and the last thing I'll say is the thing about Milwaukee is it is a little bit smaller, but they support local businesses. And that's why it's important for me to, to do things like this, to put my face on the product, because I am from Milwaukee and people gravitate towards that. That's it. Thank you.